I'm on my way to Holy Island to do a bit of metal detecting today with the Blading Club and I thought I just had to pull in and show you this wonderful sunrise what a way to start the day unfortunately the camera doesn't seem to be capturing just how beautiful it is but even if I don't find anything this morning that's just made me day is actually linked to the mainland by a causeway which is this thing and certain times of the day or night the tide comes up right over the top of this so you can't actually get to and from Holy Island so hopefully you'll be able to get off in time tonight this is Holy Island and we're spread out across three fields I'm actually in the top field where nobody else is. I don't think there's been anything found in here yet, but there's a bit of a ruin at the top side of it, so you never know, might find something. There's a lovely round musket ball. I think that's four or five I found today. I haven't videoed them all because they've been sketchy signals, but as the day wears on, and it must be, God, it must be nearly four o'clock now, I'm starting to get solid signals for whatever reason. I don't know. I don't know why. But I'm starting to make a few finds. Oh, get in. This one isn't a button. I found a million and one buttons. This one actually looks like a hammered coin. It is a hammered coin. Well, hey, I don't know whether it's silver. It's very black. Um, I'll have to give it a, a bit of a clean when I get home and uh, have a look at that. But it definitely looks to have some detail on it. Good. That's two in a week. It's taking us about a year to find my first one, then I get two in a week. And hopefully it won't be copper so this is just about the sum total of what I found up at Holy Island there's a early Victoria halfpenny, loads of buttons a few old nails and so on I don't know what that is and four musket balls and then there's the hammered coin as well this is the coin I'll try and keep it steady to the best of my knowledge, it's a uh, Henry the Eighth half groat. That's the portrait side. Looks in reasonable condition. Half the portrait, the bottom half, cleaned really well. I used tin foil with a bit of spit on and just kept it pressed on. And that corrosion just lifted clean off. I'm a bit reluctant to clean it any more though because I don't want to damage the coin. Well, Henry VIII reigned from 1509 to 1547. That makes it a pretty old coin. 